This question is taken from class 8 geometry parallelograms and here we have to learn how to find out the value of a and b question number 4. So you can see here this is a parallelogram. In parallelogram what happen opposite sides are equal. This and this sides are equal. This and this sides are equal. If a, b, c, d is not given you can write yourself also or without writing a, b, c, d you can do directly also. So let's take a start here. We can write 2a is equal to 4. 2a is equal to 4. The reason we have to write down opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. If a, b, c, d, if this one, if this diagram is a parallelogram, then opposite sides are equal. So here this in multiplication, so we have to divide. We can write here 4 by 2. Therefore, a is equal to, we have to write 2. Hope you understand this one. Now how to find out value of b? You can see here 3b is equal to 6 we can write down. 3b is equal to 6. Reason same. Reason very important we have to write. Opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. Now we have to find out value of b. So this in multiplication. So we have to divide. So we can write 6 by 3. Therefore what is the value of b? b also 2 centimeter. And do not forget to write on centimeter. Hope you understand question number a. Now look at question number B. Here you can see this is a square. A square means all sides are equal. You can see here sign also given all are equal. So we can write A is equal to 5 centimeter uh, being a square or given you can write on because this sign is already given given or from diagram you can write on anything. After that this in a square what happened all angles were 90 degree it means if this is 90 then this one is also 90 if this one is 90 in front of 90 this one is h p and b you can take any so h square is equal to p square plus b square we can write down so what we can write here b square is equal to a square plus 5 square and here at the side we can write h square is equal to p square plus b square Mm, Pythagoras theorem H means what in front of 90 degree means B so in the place of H what we have to write B P square plus B square P and B you can take any so B square what is the value of A A means 5 so we can write 5 square plus 5 square B is equal to 25 plus 25 so B square is equal to how much we get write on when you add this two, we get here 50 okay so this square will be root under 50 actually we have to write plus minus root under 50 but no need to write here plus minus because length always positive so it will be positive so b is equal to how much we get here 5 root under 2 centimeter so value of a is equal to 5 centimeter and the value of b is equal to 5 root under 2 centimeter hope you understand this question number b now look at question number c this also we have to do in same process same like number b you can see here this is a square a square means we have to find out value of a okay if this one is six so this also six so how to find out value of a in front of 90 this one is h this one is p this one is b if any confusion you can write down a b c d also you can denote also here then we can write on bc is equal to cd is equal to 6 centimeter if this one is 6 so this also 6 so bc is equal to cd is equal to 6 centimeter you have to write down given or being um, abcd is a square also you can write down after that we have to find out bd or value of a we can write so bd is equal to what we can write um, root under p square plus b square so formula is there h is equal to root under p square plus b square or we can write h square is equal to p square plus b square now what is the value of bd is equal to what a so a we have to write p and b p and b 6 and 6 so we can write 6 square plus 6 square so here root under 6 square means 36 plus 36 is equal to how much we get here A root under 72 after this you can look at here how to find out the factors of 72. First of all, we have to divide by 2. 2, 3 is a 6. 2, 6 is a 12. And 6, 6 is a 36. Two numbers are there. So we can write outside of root. And one single digit we have to write inside root. And here we have to write down centimeter. So value of A is equal to 6 root under 2 centimeter. And do not forget to write down or hope you understand this question number C. Now look at question number D. 
this is a parallelogram parallelogram means opposite sides are equal so we can write a is equal to 6 cm directly a is equal to 6 cm we have to write down opposite sides of parallelogram are equal hope you understand this one a is equal to 6 cm now to find out value of b you can see here this one is 90 degree and after that uh, this one in front of 90 this one is h this one is p and this one is b here is 90 degree so in front of 90 this one is h this one is p this one is b so we can write b square is equal to a square plus 8 square using pythagoras theorem we have to write down or h square is equal to p square plus b square also we can write down h means what in front of 90 in front of 90 what is there b so we have to write b p and b you can take any p square plus b square so b square is equal to what is the value of a 6 so we have to write here 6 square plus 8 square so b square is equal to 6 square means 36 plus 8 square means 64 so b square is equal to when you add this two we get here 100 so b is equal to this square will be root under so root under 100 therefore b is equal to root under 100 means 10 centimeter so value of a is equal to 6 and value of b is equal to 10 centimeter hope you understand this question number d now look at question number e as well as f question number e here we have a parallelogram and here we have to find out value of a and b very simple in parallelogram what happened opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are equal but here you can see angles are given so we can write a is equal to 110 very simple a is equal to 110 what is the reason here being opposite angle of a parallelogram we have to write down then to find out b b is equal to 70 we have to write down b is equal to 70 degree reason opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal a is equal to 110 opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal similarly b is equal to 70 opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal hope you understand this one we get value of a and b this much reason is necessary you have to write on reason this one same like before you can see here in front of 90 this one is h this one is p this one is b so h is equal to p square plus b square we can write down so we can write here a square is equal to 2 square plus 4 square so a square is equal to here we have to write on reason h square is equal to p square plus b square 2 square means what is here 4 plus 4 square means 16 so a square is equal to when you add we get here 20 so a is equal to root under 20 therefore a is equal to here we have to five like this we can find out factors 2 tens are 20 2 fives are 10 so we can write 2 root under 5 centimeter so value of a is equal to what is happened here 2 root under 5 centimeter hope you understand today's video uh, related with parallelogram geometry taken from class 8 how to find out value of a and b if you understand please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribe and do not forget to hit the bell button to get notification 